there was an advert in the local Echo and Times, so I just wrote in and gave them my background, my history of my parent, my father and grandfather and uncles were all fishermen, Brilliant. and um, just took it from there. <laughs> Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, the Nil Fiddler and the Maiden. the Nil Trustees, the Mayor, the Vicar and the Trustees. So, this morning, we begin the John Nil ceremony by presenting to each of the ten little girls here five pounds each, and we look forward to their enjoyment of the celebration at the steeple. We also present to each of the two widows the sum of ten pounds, and to, and to the fiddler, and to the fiddler, as John Neal described him, for provision of music, the sum of twenty-five pounds. <laughs> Pippa Quick. Piper Quick. The Mourner Pasco. Amy Matthews. That's it, ten pounds for the widows, twenty-five pounds to our <coughs> for our master of ceremonies, Harding Lady. Hey. everyone and welcome to St Ives TV and I'm Rosie. It's the 25th of July and this is the celebration of John Neal's monument. As you can see the mist has come down sadly in St Ives and you can only just make out the steeple but it hasn't deterred the celebrations in town and the dancing of the maidens and the widows and the fiddler who will soon be up here to join us uh, for the dancing around the steeple. <laughs> this year for the first time in 10 years. They open it every 10 years and it gives you a good chance to see the sarcophagus inside that John Nil was supposed to be in, but as we all know, uh, he died in London and he didn't come home.
what's going on. It's all those people. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for coming. It's lovely. Behind me, you have the nil trustees and the ten maidens and the fiddler and the widows, town clerk and the mace bearers. Now, that's um, just right. And uh, we're all keen to go. John Nill was born in Callington, Cornwall, on the 1st of January, 1733. He died on the 29th of March, 1811, at the age of 78. In the year 1762, he became collector of customs at St. Ives, an office which he held for 20 years. On the 1st of November, 1767, he became the mayor of St. Ives. 229 years later, stand upon it and remember John Nill who erected it. Thank you very much, John. No, I've been around for a day or two. Hi, I'm Timothy. I mean, you're always. Right. Hey. Elevator or love? You haven't been down for a meal again? No, I haven't. No, I am my meat. Did you have a fun time today? Oh, and some. Was it good? Lovely. 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 I could see you dancing. Yeah. Did you enjoy the dance? And some, yeah. Jump and jump. I don't um, talk very much because I'm the shy one, really. I oh, you can tell her to drop a whiskey. I understand, yeah, but are you looking forward to your lunch? Yeah, I hope so. I hope we go nice on that, out, yeah?